Hey everyone, and welcome to our fourth video of Work and Be Happy. Uh, right. Hey, I'm Johan, Brady, and Marek. Right. And this time we are going to be talking about a topic that uh, I got inspired to talk about from Indie Hackers post from Chris Peddle, uh, taking a break from building a business. And he wrote a nice post why and how he's taking a break from building his business. Um, and I want to uh, quote um, his, his words here, in the last six years, I have launched further seven startups and only in 2020 have made my first sale. I made around $2,000, although 95% of that was from a site that I sold to an agency. And this might seem like a lot of years and a little cash, uh, but I can totally relate to that. Like it's hard building businesses. You do a lot of work. You put a lot of energy into it and there's kind of nothing as an outcome. It can happen. It's, it's normal. It's, it's more normal than, than, than having a great outcome yeah. than having, than winning. Especially kind of. if you are at the start of your career, if you are very young, it's just most of the stuff won't work. Yeah, exactly. So I wanted to bring this topic in uh, to our discussion guys, because, um, we actually took a break. Uh, after five years, six, five years of building a businesses uh, with some success with and with uh, many failures. And I want to talk about um, when it's time to like, let's, let's start with when it's time to take a break from building your business. What do you think, guys? What's the right time? Like when you when you when should you say, okay, I'm taking a break? Well, I think there is like, I think there's, there's many different times basically to take to take a break, you know? So I think we can start with like the most obvious one, which is when you are burned out actually, you know, or you, you just don't want to continue on the project or basically you just need a time to recharge and to work on something less. Maybe you figure it out that your idea is not that good or that you just cannot keep going because like you don't care about the customer or many different issues. I think this is the like most obvious time to take like a two, three months off basically and just think about either starting a next business or taking even longer break basically. Yeah. And so in my case, it was like, uh, when I felt like mm, I'm mostly working for like a lot of years, you know, in my life and I have like, I haven't had a time to do anything else basically. So for me, it, it was like the perfect time to take a break, you know, to get a job and have a time for, uh, uh other things than, than just working. Yeah, for, for me, it was, um, as you, bo both of the combinations you said, working for many years without having enough time to take care of my personal, uh, things, mostly in terms of cash and cash flow, uh, to be honest. Um, and also kind of create creativity and, uh, creativity burnout and self like I was not sure if I'm actually good or not because I was building the business for so many years and without success. And I was like, okay, so I'm pretty bad probably. And everyone in my circle was like, yeah, he's like not doing good, doing good. You know, he's like the entrepreneur. <laughs> um, so this, that was the time for me to take a break. And I, I was really happy that I, or we with Brady and Marek, who was there already took a break. We went to work for Twisto as a product team, um, as kind of an innovation product team, which fit uh us which what, what we love to do it was great because i immediately realized okay we are quite good actually in in the hard skills terms we are not so bad we are pretty experienced and we also have a great soft skill because uh we build the businesses so we we have the sense to feel the most important things in the business uh even if you are just a developer or product manager you can feel the business needs because you are building before that you built your own businesses that forced you to have this sense so you have something more than maybe the people that immediately started working for a company and the people that are doing the business in the company are taking care of that um and also in terms of cash flow it it kind of helped me uh a lot to get some things straight uh, to be more uh, chilled, to not stress about the cash, and and I also immediately saw the value I have and the value the company offered to to us. So I was like, okay, um, I'm quite okay, it's good. So this was a really important experience. For yeah, me. like when yeah, you I go did. back to business after like working for a company, you think very differently about like the salary you want <laughs> you want to take mm -hmm. and make. You know, 
because I would say a lot of people underestimate their value when they are working on the projects. So for example, mm -hmm. like really example, me as a developer, I would be working on something for half a year and I wouldn't really realize I have created something which could be valued in hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, and I just, mm -hmm. you know, throw the time out of the window because I don't know my, my real value. So this is quite a good experience to work for a company where you discover that, yeah, maybe, maybe I should be more careful about like how I spend my time. Yeah. I, and also I think it will just help you like get unstuck basically. <laughs> so if, if we sp yeah. I think the year we spent at Visto is, uh, we, we didn't actually like create any project out of the fintech, you know, in the industry we were working in, but I think it gave us like a lot of inspiration, a lot of time to basically get unstuck because before we left, it was, as Johan said, first, first reason was cash. But the second reason was also actually that we simply like didn't have any interesting ideas. Mm -hmm. we, we weren't sure what we are going to work on it. So basically better than like pushing for next year, basically for maybe the same result. It's just better to get like unstuck one year, get a good salary and like have a time to to think about, okay, so what are we going to next? And then we left and actually it started again. Basically. Yeah. For this is really good point. This is really good point because uh, as you said, uh, you can be really in, in the tunnel vision, building your business, having a lot of uh, thoughts, be afraid, maybe scared. It's not working. I'm not that good. And as soon as you take a break, um, do something else if you have cash or work for some company if you don't have cash it will help you to step a, step back a bit and get a new point of view and it will actually bring a lot of creativity and new energy which was really cool for us yeah and also into that i i so at least for me but i think it, it was for all three of us i think we even talked about it um working at, at least for our year after we built a business for a company it was actually a big confidence booster in a sense that right now we are much less nervous about taking some risk or, or maybe like thinking that we are going to be poor for the rest of the life basically just doing business you know uh, i think uh, some people, for example, like Gary Varenshek and stuff, like have mindset basically that you should never want to work at company. And I think we have it. But uh, what I want, what what I mean by that is actually, uh, my my thinking is a little bit different. I think it's cool to know that basically even if we fail, we still have like a big safety net, which allows us basically to not be stressed. You know, I think nobody for us, us, us actually wants to spend their life working at some company. But I think it's a good good thing to know basically that we are still good at it. Yeah, like worst case yeah, scenario is that we have like quite good job, a lot of money, you know, and a, a lot yeah. of time for, for other things than, than working. Yeah, which is important to realize because it helps you be less stressed. And like when you are stressed and building startup or business, it it leads you to do short term uh, decisions yeah. to like really go after cash. And that's never good, at least from our experience. All, all right. So uh, I have to, two questions here and I want to combine them together how to take a break and what to do in your break because i can imagine that for some people it can be hard to like how to take a break like maybe your projects are running you have few users like imagine that we would have to take a break for Vel from welder right now like how would we do that um, well, we did. <laughs> a little bit kind of but not yeah maybe we did maybe it's a good point like we did we stopped maybe the, the hardcore development for some time we spent time on support which we could do in our evening or or even like just part of the week and we are gathering a lot of feedback and we are just keeping running maybe you could just like close all your affairs kind of in in terms of okay i'm sorry i'm building businesses on my own be transparent and and say uh, i'm taking a break we are i'm going to be back i'm taking a break because of these reasons and I hope I will be back. Uh, if you want to stay in touch, like stay in touch. If you don't, you can stop your subscription, whatever. Uh, if you have any audience, it's maybe a good idea to keep them updated regularly. Like, like take one day from a month and update them what's going on in your life. Uh, these people, these core people that follows you or are subscribed, even 10 of them to your product, uh, they are your core fans and this will bring them a lot of value. Um, and maybe a good question. The second question is what to do in your break. What yeah, you in my opinion, like you should use your break to um, really focus on yourself because yeah, it really depends. Like everyone have, have their life in a, in a different, you know, state. But in my opinion, what really helped me was that um, when I really started to think about, you know, eating healthy, you know, sleeping regular uh, eight hours per day, you know, waking up at the same time every day, you know, doing started doing a lot of sport, which I wasn't doing back then when we are, you know, like 
doing our own business. And this, like, at least for me personally, it just helps me every day doing doing the stuff which I'm doing right now. Mm. Mm. And it also helped me to clear my mind and to really, you know, be less nervous, to really have that, you know, like, you know, looking at the things we are doing from like, you know, up, you know, not, not from the down and from the dirt, you know, and being more like, you know, happy with, with the curse we are on right now. Yeah. So on my side, probably taking a break, I, I, I think, and I, we did that, uh, we focused on, we did what solved our biggest pain at the time in the quickest uh, way, kind of, which was working for a company. It gave us the, the, the confidence boost and cash flow boost, and it solved these like most hard problems for us and creativity stuck uh, in, in really short time and allow, allowed us to step back. Yeah, so it's, it's maybe not bad to go work for someone else and learn from them from, for a bit. Yeah, I think there are many, many more like benefits in in working for a company if you haven't done that in your life. Like, it, it's a great mm-hmm. experience, and you should you should not be afraid of that. Like, yeah. Or if you have time, you can just like go to Caribbean, to Guadeloupe, and drink a drink on a beach. <laughs> <laughs> Run out of money and <laughs> Run out of money, and then be stressed again. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so and the last question um which again i believe can be uh on many people entrepreneurs in the hackers minds um and i heard uh, about it around my circle is that they may be afraid they will not get back to the entrepreneurship because like the entrepreneurship is hard it's you are having a lot of your or your on your back you are stressed but it also gives you a lot of happiness and when you are working for a company it's actually uh pretty chill uh, you can get pretty comfy and it's hard to back get back into the hard stuff when you are yeah. comfy. so i have two ideas about this, this topic and the first one is that uh usually when you are taking a break you know and you go to work for for some kind of company your salary or you know the amount of, of cash you are getting every month is going to be much higher and you should be careful about like elevating your lifestyle because if you are really serious about doing business then you know being used to spend like four or five thousand dollars per month on, on stupid things it's just not going to help you in your life so be careful about yeah. that maybe try to save some money you know don't don't elevate your lifestyle super high if, if you are making more money and the second thought is that uh, if if you are afraid of that just try it and maybe you will find out uh you know doing business is not for you or maybe uh working for some company is something which which is something you want to do in your life and you are okay with it so maybe you don't have yeah, to do I, it. I, it's not not bad if you don't don't do it pretty want to go yeah, I agree. I think um, I think it like the switch back from the company to be, back to business actually should not be that painful. I think uh, you, sh- you should at least spend like uh, some time from that year thinking about the pros and you should be excited about that and you actually sh- should want to switch that what's, what's happened to us. But if that is not happening, then maybe that's a sign to either stay at the company, wait a little bit longer or maybe just just not do entrepreneurship but you, you can never start like being entrepre- entrepreneur like from the pain you know it should be you should be excited about starting this project and if you are not then that's it's obviously like not the right time you know it's very i think it's very very self evident yeah so. and i would like to say maybe another thing and it's that uh you shouldn't divide like the word you know between two things like you are entrepreneur or you are an employee like it's not black and white, you know, you can switch between these two roles. Maybe you can work for a company for 10 years, become an expert in an area, and then you will have like all the resources and, and the mindset to to start a business, you know, when you are 40, for example. It's just not that, that black and white. Yeah, in general, I would recommend uh, not being afraid of taking a break, going to work for someone or just taking a break because you will find out more about yourself um you can learn that you actually want it's better for you to stay in someone else's business and even wait for 10 years and then it might click and you start working on your own business 
or for example with us it was like after a half a year uh we already started to having these urges to create something so we get together over the weekends and hack some like products projects really quickly so we can test them and it naturally um bring us brought us back to the business all right i think i think this is it um so just to sum it up taking a break from your business uh it's important when you feel a lot of stress when you feel it's not going well for you it might be good to think about taking a break um, it's not a bad thing you shouldn't be afraid of that if you feel uh, feel it's important for you do it and see how it goes um, you can find out many different things about yourself it can help you step back and if you really love entrepreneurship you will actually get back to it and you should not be afraid that you will be stuck in 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 an in company and that's it uh it was a nice episode again um both of them today we are shooting two episodes were very nice so if you like it guys leave us a comment if you ever took a break and how helpful it was for you or if you are maybe right now thinking about taking a break uh, it would be cool to hear it from you if this helped you if yes you can also subscribe it will make us really happy and bye okay bye, bye. bye.